How's it going guys? It is that time of the month where we take a deep dive into the next update of Horizon 5, look at all of the clues we've got and try to narrow down what we will be getting, not just the cars but the features and the changes as well. We've already done a video last week talking about the cars that might be coming soon, not just in this next update but in general. This is focusing just on the next update, everything that might be coming because there could be some interesting stuff in this update so we're going to have a deep dive now before we find out next week. Now, first things first, here are the four winners that have been picked for the most recent car pack giveaway. I've messaged them all on Xbox. If they don't reply, I'll have to pick all the people. So keep commenting your gamer tag and make sure you're subscribed and you'll always have a continuous chance of being picked at random. So let's jump straight to the update. Now we know it's going to be called Horizon Retro Wave and we can see four widgets, a new radio station, highway decorations, new event lab props, and of course, new cars that we've already talked about. Now we're gonna focus a bit more on the other three today as there are some things that we can guess what they might actually be. So obviously Horizon Retro Rave, it screams that it's gonna be a retro theme, maybe a bit of an old school theme. The word retro's in it, it all makes sense. Now, in terms of the new radio station, you would expect when we get a radio station within a theme that sounds very, sort of time period based retro it makes you think we're getting maybe a retro radio station with retro songs but players hope that it's heavy on the synth wave and french touch stuff and they'd, they'd like to see justice make a return as well they were in the game back in horizon 3 are they going to return to the game within this new radio station it would certainly make sense for this new radio station to be heavily themed around the retro wave theme. So we can most definitely expect the radio station to be something along those lines. Around the 80s, 90s sort of area, sort of time, um, that's it's to be expected. I'd be very surprised if the radio station is nothing to do with the retro wave theme. That wouldn't really make sense. Now, someone else brought up a an interesting point that the fact that we have updates bringing in new radio stations might mean we won't see Horizon 6 for a while. Now, I'm not sure I entirely agree with a new radio station, meaning that Horizon 6 is longer away than we think. But the reply to it regarding the monthly car packs that is a bigger indicator that Horizon 6 is further away than we think, but that's a conversation for another video anyway. We should at least just be happy that we're getting a new radio station. Pop your guesses in the comment section below about what songs could be within this new radio station. Interested to see if anybody gets it right. Now, the second one is highway decorations. Now, we do actually have a leak that tells us a tiny bit about these new highway decorations. This comes from GT Planet, TGR55. Who else would it be? Of course, it's him. He found something in the files that indicates that the new highway that's coming in this latest update is going to be called the Wave Highway. Which is interesting because if you just simply Google retro wave high ray, there's definitely a common theme and I would put a lot of money on what you're seeing on screen right now being a very accurate representation of what these highway decorations will look like. Obviously purple is a big colour within this and we can actually see within the widget on the coming soon page itself that looks very similar to what we can see on Google when we look at retro waves. And if what TGR55 says about it being called a wave highway it's bound to look something like this. I mean you can see here these look like waves, it looks retro it just makes sense so if you're into the color purple I'm expecting a lot of purple themes along this update maybe a bit of blue chucked in there as well how they're going to do this I don't know are they going to replace the tarmac or just the sides of the road it's going to be a temporary thing anyway it's not going to be in the game forever so hopefully they go quite far with it just because it's temporary that would be nice to see new event lab props now event lab props are fairly normal for updates nowadays and they're not always related towards the theme so we can't really guess that the event lab props we're getting are going to be retro wave related but if we are getting a revised highway with retro um, decorations those are probably going to be assets that they've had to create and it wouldn't surprise me if they give us those assets within the event lab props as well. So if we get some additions to the highway that are, you know, big waves and different floors and fancy lights, I don't see why they wouldn't be a part of the event lab props pack 
that are seemingly also coming within the update. And then that of course leaves us with new cars. As I said, we have touched on this in the previous video a little bit, but since then I've had a bit of a deeper look into things and I'm slightly more convinced and I have a bit of hope that we might be getting something quite interesting. I'm not 100% sure, but just bear with me on this. A good few months ago now, the same guy that leaks all this credible stuff, he found a few different text strings in the files related to carbon bodywork. We've already spoken about that. But one of the text, things, text strings he found in the files was Back to the Future. Now, I'm sure you know what Back to the Future is. It's a very popular movie. And there's a certain car in Back to the Future that stands out, the DeLorean. Now, what's interesting about this DeLorean or just DeLoreans in general, when you actually Google retro waves, you see a lot of, well, DeLoreans which is a very interesting coincidence to me. Are we perhaps going to get something Back the Future related within this update? If we've seen previous leaks about it in the past and the car that's within Back to the Future, which is obviously the only thing that would relate to a racing game and a movie, the car. So I don't really know what to expect. We're not going to be getting some Back to the Future collaboration kind of thing. I don't think it's going to be that deep, but maybe a Back to the Future body kit on a car or a Back to the Future race. I don't know. It might just be a coincidence that Back to the Future's popped up in the files. It just happens to have a car that relates very nicely to the current theme for the next update. But what do you guys think? I'm intrigued because it could be quite cool. I think if the Back to the Future leak does mean anything, it's going to be for this update or none at all because it just it, it lines up perfectly. There literally could be anything in this update. You know, lots Lots of things would fit the retro bill. Again, it does go back to the end of the day of what the player and games class as retro. Whatever they class as retro, that's what we're going to get. Um, it could be some examples on screen right now. It doesn't necessarily have to be an old car. It can be a newer car that's a sort of revised version of the past, just like the popular one that we talked about, spoken about, the Lamborghini Countach, the new one. That's a revised, that's a revived sort of reworked version of the old retro Countach. So that would make perfect sense. It's very fitting for a car pack as well. It's high up on the leaked car list. Sorry, it's high up on the voted car list. So the Countach, oh, I'd be very surprised if we don't get that. But as this fella says here, he doesn't want to make any predictions because a lot of the cars we get are just unexpected and I completely agree. I've swayed away from being certain about certain cars coming nowadays. We really are just guessing with the clues that we have, but we can we can make some pretty educated guesses and clues for what we're going to get in this update. Quite a few people seem to agree with the Countach being a nice addition. There's lots of other guesses. Again, I, I can't really think of any other car apart from that one that really makes sense for this update. So we could literally get anything. I also saw a bizarre amount of comments about my haircut so thank you to everyone who complimented my haircut very random but I'll take it. One last thing to end on obviously we've got the leaked car list all of these cars that are marked in black are possible. Um, I got sent this on Instagram a few days ago I did manage to spot it and screenshot it while it was on the Forza Horizon official story and it seems to be a photo of some well front bumpers rear bumpers um, can't really narrow down exactly what they're for. It says RTR on it, so that screams something quite big. I don't think any of this will be related to the next update, so we're not going to deep dive into these images just yet, but maybe there'll be something for the future to look into, a sign of what's to come next, maybe. But if you have any ideas what this photo could mean, maybe it's a clue, maybe it's a leak, maybe it's nothing at all, it's worth looking into anyway. What do you guys think these photos actually mean? What cars are they from? Obviously, you can expect a video from me as soon as the update is revealed, with all of the appropriate information. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.